Six months, 180 days, or half a year. That's how long Elon Musk estimates a journey to Mars will take aboard Starship powered by its 39 Raptor engines. But six months is a long time for anyone, including you and me. And NASA? Well, they're not too thrilled about it either. That's why NASA has unveiled a revolutionary new engine powered by an advanced energy source. They claim it'll be more powerful, safer, and capable of getting humans to Mars faster than Starship's Raptor engines. So what is this engine? How does it outperform SpaceX's Raptors? And why is NASA so confident in its breakthrough technology? Let's dive into it on today's episode of Alpha Tech. But first, we need your support. Our next goal is 120,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button and stay up to date with all our latest episodes. We're committed to improving every step of the way. Thank you for being part of this journey. Chemical rockets have long been the foundation of space exploration, relying on the combustion of propellants and oxidizers to generate thrust. These rockets come in two primary forms, solid fuel and liquid fuel. Solid fuel rockets contain a pre-mixed combination of propellant and oxidizer in a solid state, while liquid fuel rockets store these components separately, combining them in the combustion chamber to produce high temperature, high pressure gases. These gases are then expelled through the engine nozzle, generating the thrust necessary to propel a spacecraft. One of the most ambitious rockets in development today is SpaceX's Starship, a next-generation launch vehicle designed for deep space missions. Central to Elon Musk's vision of colonizing Mars, Starship is engineered to maximize thrust and efficiency. At the heart of this innovation is its full-flow staged combustion cycle engine, the Raptor. Unlike traditional rocket engines which burn RP-1 kerosene or hydrogen, the Raptor is fueled by methane and liquid oxygen. While methane-based propulsion is not a new concept, having been studied by both American and Russian space programs, the Raptor engine distinguishes itself with its superior fuel efficiency and high thrust-to-weight ratio. This means it can generate more thrust relative to its weight, making it significantly more efficient than conventional designs. SpaceX's work on Raptor technology represents a major step forward in propulsion, pushing the limits of what is possible in rocketry. Currently, Starship is the most powerful rocket ever built, boasting an impressive 39 Raptor engines across its super heavy booster and upper stage. However, despite this immense power, chemical rockets have inherent limitations, particularly in exhaust velocity, which determines how fast they can expel propellant. This constraint makes chemical propulsion less ideal for long-duration interplanetary missions. For example, a journey from Earth to Mars covering approximately 140 million miles or 225 million kilometers would take six months to a year with Starship's current technology. Such a prolonged mission presents numerous challenges, including extended exposure to cosmic radiation and microgravity, both of which can have severe effects on astronaut health. Recognizing these challenges, NASA is actively developing advanced propulsion systems that could revolutionize space travel. Their goal is to drastically reduce the time it takes to reach Mars, from six months down to just a few weeks or even as little as a day. If successful, this breakthrough could transform interplanetary exploration and bring humanity closer than ever to becoming a multi-planetary species. I believe that's enough suspense, so let's reveal what type of engine this will be, and that is nuclear thermal propulsion, which presents a revolutionary alternative to traditional chemical rockets. This technology has the potential to extract significantly more energy from a given mass of fuel, offering greater efficiency and power. Dale Thomas, a former associate director at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center and now at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, explains that nuclear propulsion, either electric or thermal, could extract more energy from a given mass of fuel than is possible via combustion-based propulsion. At its core, a nuclear thermal propulsion system operates using nuclear fission, a process in which a neutron collides with uranium-235, forming uranium-236. This unstable isotope then splits into two smaller fragments, fission products, releasing additional neutrons and a substantial amount of energy. Currently, more than 400 nuclear power reactors worldwide utilize this fission technology, the majority of which are light reactors. 
These reactors use water as a coolant to slow neutrons and absorb heat, which then generates steam to drive turbines and produce electricity. However, nuclear thermal propulsion systems function differently, employing a specialized fuel with a higher concentration of uranium-235. They also operate at much higher temperatures, making them far more compact and powerful. In fact, these systems offer approximately 10 times the power density of traditional light water reactors. One of the most significant advantages of nuclear thermal propulsion is its ability to expel propellant at extremely high speeds, generating substantial thrust. This high thrust enables rockets to accelerate more quickly, reducing travel time. Additionally, nuclear propulsion systems possess a high specific impulse, or a measure of how efficiently propellant is converted into thrust. Compared to chemical rockets, nuclear thermal propulsion boasts nearly twice the specific impulse, meaning it could cut travel time to destinations like Mars by nearly half. While this concept may seem futuristic, it is not new. The U.S. government has previously invested in nuclear thermal propulsion technology. Between 1955 and 1973, NASA, General Electric, and Argonne National Laboratories developed and ground-tested 20 nuclear thermal propulsion engines. These early designs relied on highly enriched uranium, or HEU, fuel which is no longer viable due to the risks associated with nuclear proliferation, which is the spread of nuclear materials and technology that could be used for weapons. To mitigate these risks, the U.S. Department of Energy and the National Nuclear Security Administration launched the Global Threat Reduction Initiative. This program aims to replace HEU fuel in research reactors with high assay, low enriched uranium, or HALU, fuel. Unlike HU, HALU contains less fissile material, making it unsuitable for weaponization. However, using HALU in space propulsion presents its own challenges, as nuclear thermal rockets will require larger quantities of fuel to achieve the same energy output. This additional fuel increases the overall mass of the engine, necessitating the development of advanced materials to optimize efficiency. NASA and DARPA's Demonstration Rocket for Agile Cislunar Operations, or DRACO, program is set to pioneer the use of HALU in a nuclear thermal propulsion engine. The program aims to launch its first test mission in 2027, marking a major milestone in nuclear spaceflight technology. As part of this initiative, aerospace giant Lockheed Martin has partnered with BWX Technologies to develop the reactor design and fuel. The Draco nuclear thermal propulsion system must meet stringent performance and safety requirements. It needs to maintain reactor integrity throughout the mission while executing the necessary maneuvers for a high-speed journey to Mars and beyond. Initially, the program will focus on demonstrating nuclear propulsion's viability for launches into low Earth orbit, with DARPA setting performance targets comparable to current chemical rocket systems. The propulsion system functions by heating a propellant, typically hydrogen or ammonia, using the nuclear fission reactor. The heated gas then expands and is expelled and is expelled through a nozzle to generate thrust. This process allows for significantly higher efficiency than chemical propulsion, which relies on combustion reactions. Successfully demonstrating this technology through the DRACO program could revolutionize spaceflight, enabling faster and more efficient missions while increasing the chances of survival and success for long-duration expeditions. As part of the DRACO initiative, contractors are directly responsible for designing the nuclear thermal propulsion reactor and outlining detailed plans for the propulsion subsystem. The reactor will utilize HALU fuel, which can be produced by recycling fuel from existing nuclear reactors. Since HALU is enriched to only 20% uranium-235, it is considered a safer alternative that does not pose a nuclear weapons proliferation risk. A critical safety measure in Draco's design is that the nuclear reactor will remain inactive until the spacecraft reaches a designated safe nuclear orbit. This ensures that, in the event of a launch failure, any potential contamination will be safely dispersed into space rather than posing a risk on Earth. Lockheed Martin and BWX Technologies, based in Lynchburg, Virginia, are leading the efforts to develop the reactor and produce the necessary HALU fuel for the program. Beyond Draco, additional research and development efforts are underway to advance nuclear propulsion technology. Scientists at the Idaho National Laboratory are collaborating with NASA to test and refine materials required for nuclear thermal rockets. 
At INL's transient reactor test facility near Idaho Falls, researchers have conducted experiments to validate computational models and evaluate new sensors and fuel designs. One of the primary goals is to identify the best uranium-based materials and synthetic structures capable of withstanding the extreme conditions inside a nuclear propulsion reactor. The efficiency of a nuclear thermal propulsion system depends largely on its choice of propellant. The most effective option is hydrogen, as it provides the greatest specific impulse and the highest change in velocity, what rocket scientists refer to as delta V for a given mass. However, hydrogen's low density presents a, presents a logistical challenge as it requires large storage tanks. To address this issue, alternative propellants like ammonia are being considered. While ammonia has a lower specific impulse compared to hydrogen, it is denser and easier to store, making it a viable option for certain mission profiles. The successful development and deployment of nuclear thermal propulsion could transform humanity's ability to explore space. With faster travel times, spacecraft could reach distant destinations more efficiently, reducing the risks posed by prolonged exposure to cosmic radiation. This technology could also enable more ambitious missions, including crewed journeys to Mars, extended operations in deep space, and even the establishment of permanent human outposts beyond Earth. In addition to interplanetary travel, nuclear propulsion holds potential for national security applications. The ability to rapidly maneuver spacecraft in cislunar space, the region between Earth and the Moon, could provide strategic advantages for both defense and commercial space operations. The Draco program represents a crucial first step in demonstrating these capabilities and laying the groundwork for future advancements in space propulsion. As research progresses, further innovations in reactor design, fuel efficiency, and propulsion optimization will be necessary to fully realize the potential of nuclear thermal propulsion. While challenges remain, the prospect of harnessing nuclear power for space exploration is closer than ever. With ongoing collaboration between NASA, DARPA, private industry, and leading research institutions, the future of space travel is set to be faster, more efficient, and more ambitious than ever before. Nuclear propulsion could very well be the key to unlocking the next era of human exploration beyond Earth's orbit. One of the most promising advancements in nuclear propulsion is the Pulse Plasma Rocket, or PPR, a concept designed to address the dual challenges of high thrust and high specific impulse, two critical factors for long-duration space travel. Unlike conventional chemical or nuclear thermal rockets, PPR utilizes controlled nuclear explosions to generate thrust while maintaining a design that is simpler, lighter, and more cost-effective than previous nuclear propulsion systems. At its core, PPR operates by generating pulsed plasma bursts, which are expelled through an electromagnetic nozzle to produce thrust. To create these plasma bursts, the system incorporates a nuclear fission reactor similar to the ones proposed for nuclear thermal propulsion rockets. However, instead of heating a core, this system is specifically designed to superheat uranium pellets, converting them into plasma for propulsion. Supporting the PPR system are auxiliary components, including coil gun thrusters and magnetic nozzles, which work together to accelerate and direct the plasma efficiently. The propulsion cycle is designed to be highly precise and rapid, with the capability to complete a full cycle frequency of 1 Hz, meaning it can fire once per second. This requires the target projectile, or the uranium pellets in this case, to be heated into plasma almost instantaneously. To analyze the feasibility of the system, neutronics studies are being conducted using MCNP-6, a Monte Carlo-based particle transport software. MCNP-6 simulates neutron interactions within the system, helping researchers predict neutron population growth based on different design configurations. This analysis ensures that the system remains subcritical or inactive when not in operation, minimizing energy consumption and safety risks. Once activated, a fuel projectile introduces moderated uranium into the system, triggering a controlled exponential increase in neutrons to generate the necessary energy for propulsion. One of the most exciting developments in PPR technology is being led by Howe Industries, or Howie Industries, a US-based research company currently working on an engine system capable of producing up to 100,000 newtons of thrust with a specific impulse of 5,000 seconds. 
This performance far exceeds conventional chemical rockets and even surpasses existing nuclear propulsion concepts, making PPR a strong contender for deep space missions to destinations, to destinations like Mars and beyond. NASA has taken a keen interest in this breakthrough propulsion system, funding research into PPR through its NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts program. The Phase 1 study aims to evaluate the neutronics of the system, spacecraft design, power system requirements, subsystems, magnetic nozzle capabilities, and potential mission trajectories. The results of this initial phase will determine the feasibility of scaling up the technology for future applications. If successful, Phase 2 could mark a turning point for Mars exploration, bringing NASA closer to developing an operational PPR-powered rocket. This phase would focus on enhancing engine designs, conducting real-world trials, and refining spacecraft structures to ensure safe human travel to Mars. Space travel is on the brink of a revolution, with nuclear propulsion paving the way for faster, more efficient missions to Mars and beyond. As technology advances, the dream of interplanetary exploration is closer than ever. Will nuclear propulsion be the key to our future in space, or will new breakthroughs emerge? Stay tuned, subscribe, and join us as we uncover the next chapter in humanity's journey to the stars. See you next time.